everyone and welcome to the Formables Quest. If you don't know what the Formables Quest is, well, there is a list in Rise of Nations uh, which is called the Formables Quest. And the Formables Quest is consisted of countries that have existed in the past or could exist. So yeah, my goal is to unlock every single uh, Formable in the game throughout this series so yeah uh i'll show you the requirements now so for the ajran sultanate i need all of djibouti cities all of ethiopia's cities all of somalia cities and all of kenya cities so yeah now let's get right into the gameplay Okay, so now that we are in this game, we are going to be forming the, uh, the Ajuran, Ajuran, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, we're going to be forming that now. <laughs> uh, I think this is definitely going to be easy, and I don't think that I'm going to have to do multiple attempts on this, and I kind of still like want to continue to do more stuff even after I form it maybe see how much I can conquer and the thing is that I think I does I like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I think that I desperately need to like get a lot of manpower just at the start just start booming everything because Ethiopia well they're not that strong, they have a lot of cities in the game, and they can be quite tiring. And the troops will have to recover every so often, so that's that's gonna be a problem, that's gonna be a big problem. And, yeah, I'll see you when I get into the game. Okay, so now I am Somalia, and I start off not much manpower. That's bad. Okay, so I already said which countries I need to bring... Uh, to make, actually, to make the Ajran Sultanate. And, well, I think I want to go with Djibouti first. <laughs> Anyways, I kind of want to go with Djibouti first since it's the one that will take less manpower at the start and stuff like that. I, I, I think I'm going to need quite the help from different countries. And let's hope that um, that Italy doesn't get any ideas and start trying to conquer me in order to make his empire. <laughs> I, there isn't an Italy yet, though. But th there probably is going to be one. So, yeah, at this point, I just kind of, like, want to wait. You know, making too much manpower. Which is worrying, actually. Okay, so... Ethiopia wanna take me. Why is there an Ethiopia? Why? Why does there have to be an Ethiopia in this server at this point? They're just, oh my God. What is, what is this? Okay, what are the goddamn chances? I mean, what's the point of continuing? Ethiopia for one is much stronger than me. For two, what am I gonna do against? <laughs> And without Ethiopia, I cannot form the Ajuran Sultanate. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next attempt. Why do there have to be attempts, though? Why does... This is probably, like, one of the easiest formables to make. What the heck? Okay, so now, here is attempt number two. And uh, hopefully this time we can actually do this uh, because it felt so embarrassing that I couldn't do it in the first try. And that's because somebody that was pretty strong, I want to say pretty strong, well, stop me. And I think, like, I have a slight tactic here where if I do this, the terrain, so you see how this is like... Uh, the terrain is semi-mountainous. Because of, I can use that, actually. I can use it to my advantage that when I conquer, for example, Gode, okay? 
then obviously his troops are gonna come and then I'm, I'm gonna be chilling there basically my my troops are gonna be entrenched in it and uh, in this game terrain plays a big role as in if I'm there and those troops come after me they will be the weaker ones and they're definitely gonna fall so I think that like after they have no troops at all i think that we can like do do that easily like after i take ethiopia then i should be a set for stuff but it doesn't necessarily mean that i'm gonna have a lot of manpower and that's the main issue here so yeah let's hope that we can actually actually not die because of having no manpower at all and I kind of want to go for Ethiopia first, because I feel like it's like a good, I don't know. I kind of want to go for Ethiopia first, because it, it's like, it's going to try, it's going to make me hold into place, I think. Then I'm hopefully going to be able to tower over Kenya, and I mean, I already tower over Djibouti, but either way, I think that we can do this. And is there even a single African country in here? Nope. Not a single one. Okay, this is gonna be great. Okay, so I checked that Somalia is the only country that can form the Azuran Azuran Sultanate. Um, which, I mean, I don't know, because I, I would have liked if Ethiopia could also do that. I, I think that... I mean, stuff would have been much easier, and I think that, uh, like, I could conquer more stuff in a way. I would have more manpower and stuff like that, so. But I guess this is what it is. I, I, I'll have to deal with it. I don't think it. I mean, it does matter. Big time. Okay. So now. Hopefully, we go in this war like absolute legends and come out as the victors let's go somalia <laughs> amazing <laughs> so you can't really do anything like special with somalia i mean the arab league but the arab league is like can be formed by a lot of other countries that are uh, proclaimed as arab so that isn't hard okay so they're coming after me okay and now from my calculations of terrain advancement, I think that I can defeat them easily. And I think that I, I outnumber them. I'm not sure with how much Ethiopia star. I think it could be 130,000. Wait, no, what? <laughs> it's, it's, I think they start with 30,000. And I have pretty much twice there. Okay. Oh, we destroyed them. Okay, now I need to go and take over Addis Ababa. I'm I'm sorry if I uh, pronounced it wrong. I probably did, knowing me. But yeah, uh, now that we won't have any military issues so far, I think that we could do this, but it's going to go super slowly. Because, like... I mean, there are, like, the northern cities, there's less of them, but it's mountainous, and it's gonna take forever knowing that troops hate mountains in this game, and they go very slowly, but then again, uh, in terms of winning, I think I've won this. I think it, it, I think it's in the bag already, and we don't have really a lot of manpower to back up all of this. So yeah, I think we're gonna be have, I think we're gonna have to save some stuff. Okay, so let's hope that these amount of troops will be actually able to take Addis Ababa slowly and nicely. Uh, I think just like taking Addis Ababa, I'm gonna be really set. I mean, I'm gonna have more money. But I don't think it's a money situation by any means. Uh, I get—I mean, I'll get a big population, which means more tax. 
And then again, it doesn't really do much. I mean, if Ethiopia did actually conquer other countries too, then I mean, those will get released and I would hate it if they did because I need all of Ethiopia, not just Ethiopia. Thank God that we're set for this and yeah. So really the only major setback is that I cannot make more troops because that would mean a waste of manpower and I cannot refuel these troops. So it, I, I think I'll have to go with the long route and, and with a safe route actually and take all of Ethiopia while having this amount of manpower and taking, taking, <laughs> and using these troops. So yeah, let's hope that I can actually do it. Oh, come on. Come on, we're so close. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes! We took it down. My population basically doubled. <laughs> We finally did it. I, I think I, at this point, I kind of want them to refuel a little bit more. And then I'll start taking more of uh, Ethiopia. And then I think, like, we should be good if I can get my hands on more manpower than I already have. Okay, so in terms of the world tension going on in Europe and anywhere else. Actually, now that I see... Yeah, the U.S. is taking over uh, Mexico now. They're making steps for the North American Union, I think. And for here, well, Germany still hasn't made the Reich. And they need to take over Austria. And they took over Poland early game, actually. And, well, I'm surprised how Russia hasn't made any moves in conquering Ukraine or Belarus. At least Belarus, maybe not Ukraine, because Ukraine is significantly significantly stronger than Belarus. Not stronger than Russia, that's for sure. Oh, I think that that this is where they're making moves. Well, I mean, he, he's prioritizing. <laughs> okay, so we have 30k on the board now. And uh, I don't know how we're looking exactly. I mean, we're, we're going to do this though. And I kind of want to keep a little bit more. So that all of that manpower doesn't go down. Because maybe I'm going to need a little bit more. So yeah, I'm going to wait for that. And the more of uh, Ethiopia I take, and I'm... I'm my manpower is definitely going to increase a bit more and more and more. So, I mean, like, we're set on that thing, that part. It's just that what's really making my blood boil is that it's going to take too much. <laughs> and I don't like to have long videos, e even though I do. But that's besides the point. Anyways, look how slow he's moving. It's so annoying. <laughs> See what I was saying? This is gonna take forever. I don't know if we, if we can take over this city with this amount of troops and this amount of claiming left. I don't know. It, the The chances are slim. I'll keep I'll keep them going until it is definitive that I'm not going to be able to take, to take over the city. Um, so yeah, in, just in general, they don't have much population left. And this city is basically half of their population. So this, like the rest that are left is one million or so. Uh, I think that that should be easy to... Because all of those combined are 1 million. So yeah, I, I think it's a nice cruise from then on. It's just that the mountains are going to be the hardest part throughout the whole time. So yeah, I need to be careful for that. 
you know i think that from now on there isn't gonna be anything interesting that's gonna happen so yeah i'll just cut over to when i fully annex ethiopia okay this is gonna be the last city come on you can do it you can do it come on come on let's go ethiopia okay come on now i was taking this though come on <laughs> That is, yeah, the, the last city of uh, Ethiopia. And uh, we have basically taken the biggest bug out now. So, yeah, Djibouti, you're next. Okay, so get ready. I think I've already just divided on them. Uh, yeah, I have. Okay, come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. And the reason that I have this much manpower is that, well, oh, you know what? <laughs> Scratch that. Let's go. Mm hmm. Send turns. Good. Finally, all of that time. Oh my god. Ethiopia. You are so annoying, one thing. What the heck? It took ages. Like, ages just to make that. What? It took like three in game years just to take over Ethiopia. That is crazy. Okay, that is crazy. I would have done much better if I had more troops, but I didn't because I wanted to save a manpower and stuff like that. So, yeah, I didn't, like, risk it. And now, uh, I guess I'll just uh, let them rest, and then I'll take over Djibouti, and then Kenya. And hopefully, Kenya doesn't take much, okay? Because it is quite big. And let's hope that it doesn't take much time. Okay, so it's time to uh, turn fascist. Uh, this I like because it doesn't uh, lower down the tax. I don't go full fascist because, I mean, the tax, it's only minus 10%, which is not that much, actually. So I think I could uh, do that without really making much risks. And now I'm taking over Djibouti. GBD. <laughs> okay, so now let's wait for them to make the first move. Now my troops are like, yes. Okay, I thought we something stupid was gonna happen and my tro troops lost, but they didn't, which is all good. So yeah. Okay, so now I took over Djibouti, which took like five seconds to be honest with you and now kenya the final country is next and i think that is uh i i need to well save up manpower and that stuff so yeah i'm gonna have to wait a bit okay so now come at me kenya come at me i'm gonna take you down yeah, I'm just waiting for them to start coming after me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and now, they're basically gone for. Like, what are they gonna do against me, honestly? So, yeah. I'm thinking they have... Oh, come on. They have 40k as in defense. Come on, boys. Let's pull this. Oh, my God. Okay, we did this. I don't want many casualties. Okay, I think that trenching really helped a lot right there. And now I'm gonna go for the capital. And hopefully all goes well. And we take over Kenya pretty fast. Because I was like completely drained out of Ethiopia. It took too much time and it, it was quite annoying actually. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what we're going to be able to do now. 
The troops are going down fast. I don't think I can take them down. I don't, I don't think I can take the capital with this amount of troops. Which is annoying, so to say. The capital is going to be the hardest thing. That's the, th that's the thing. Because, like, even if I go out... If I, even if I bring, like, my troops out to recover, there won't be enough troops to still be able to take uh, the capital down. Because, like, this thing, the claiming thing, is uh, gonna restart after I bring my troops back. So, yeah, there's, there's no way. Ah, man, the capital... The capital, though. Ah, I can take down the capital. That's the bad thing. I'll take down these little cities, and then the capital will probably be the last that I'm gonna have to take. So yeah, I'll meet you when I do that. So I never thought that this would take such a long time. It. I don't understand how. I was expecting for this to be so quick, but then again, I kind of like more and more realized how uh, weak Somalia is in terms of military. But still, this should have been fast, but it, it has been so, it has taken so long. Ugh. So uploading the Formables quest uh, is going to be a lot less... F it, it's not gonna be that frequent, okay? Because these take a long time. You, like filming, I don't know how long this is gonna take for editing, but just the, the recording, it takes a long time. And uh, while well, I don't wanna like do this so, uh, like really frequently, and so yeah, the, I'm going really like I'm going for these, so I'm going to only upload these for like, uh, I don't know what schedule, but not that frequent, so yeah, don't expect me to make a lot of Formable Quest videos, just like, in general, so yeah. Okay, so now, I took every other city except for the capital, so now, I'm going to wait for my troops to regenerate so then I can start taking over the capital and yeah let's hope that that should be it and that I'm gonna form the Ajaran Sultanate and this video is gonna be over <laughs> okay so so far it's looking good we're taking over the capital quite nicely uh, we're so close to freedom basically so yeah Just, come on Please, just do it faster. <laughs> okay, come on. Just, we're so close. Just do it faster. Please. I want this to end. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I think I'm overreacting a bit. There we go. There we go. Let's go. We took over Kenya. And now, I think, no, not that I think, I will create the Azuran Sultanate. You are so worthless. <laughs> but not really though. And now. Come on. Oh my god. This took forever. This took forever and I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Which I don't know when it's going to be. Because my schedule is really weird but anyways thank you so much for watching and goodbye we are all going for a sunday drive the open air makes you 